the garden. This is a little leaf hopper. It's known as the candy striped because it's got beautiful red and blue stripes. Just an incredible color. And it has a yellow head and yellow legs with kind of serrated barbs on the legs. <laughs> Very small, about the size of a sliver of a fingernail. So there you can see some scale with my thumb. And they do feed on the sap of the plant. So they are probably a pest, but I think they're a beautiful pest. They're native to North America, so here in my garden they're really appropriate. whole bunch of species of leafhopper and these I think are one of the most beautiful. Here's another type of leafhopper. Definitely not as beautiful as the candy striped. This one's more just brown. As the name suggests, leafhoppers can jump incredibly far, many times their own body length. They can probably jump farther than I can. And when they're done leaping, they can actually fly. They take their little wings, and like one of those locusts, those flying grasshoppers, they can flap their wings and actually have really good control. I've seen them fly in and land underneath a leaf. These little candy striped leafhoppers really like my basil, but I've never seen them actually do any damage. If there are holes on the leaves, it's more likely caused by beetles or caterpillars. Until they get so numerous that they actually start to hurt the plant, I'm just going to let them be. But they spook so easily. I bet we could startle this guy in a breeze. Let's see. I mean, look at how large we are compared to him. See, they often just hide, or they'll jump and fly away. And look at those eyes. Can you see the pattern on his eyes? They look like they're wearing some kind of fancy goggles. This guy was just flying around. Oh, there he goes. I think I saw one just in here. Oh, yeah. Here's a little one over here. I bet he'll jump away. There he goes. Did you see him fly? They change trajectory and they really are incredible flyers. They're a pretty fantastic bug. Most of the leafhoppers stick to our basil, but these ones are on celery. And we have one down here on our parsley. And earlier in the season, they were all over our lettuce. They do this little flickery thing with their butt there. I don't know if they're using the bathroom every five seconds or... They go. So I hope you keep an eye out for the candy striped leaf hopper in your garden. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.